Let's move ahead. How, let's move ahead. How, how, how does your philosophy translate itself into the world of politics? Now, one of the principal achievements of this country in the past 20 years particularly, I think most people agree, is the gradual growth of social protective legislation based on the principle that we are our brother's keepers. How do you feel about the political trends of the United States, the uh, Western world? The way everybody feels except more consciously. I feel that it is terrible, that you see destruction all around you, and that you are moving toward disaster until and unless all those welfare state conceptions have been reversed and rejected. It is precisely these trends which are bringing the world to disaster, because we are now moving towards complete collectivism or socialism, uh, a system under which everybody is enslaved to everybody. And we are moving that way only because of our altruist morality. Ah, yes, but you say everybody is enslaved to everybody. Yet this came about democratically, I, and the free people in a free country voted for this kind of government, wanted this kind of legislation. Do you object to the democratic process? I object to the idea that people have the right to vote on everything. The uh, traditional American system was a system based on the idea that majority will prevailed only in public or political affairs, and that it was limited by inalienable individual rights. Uh -huh. Therefore, I do not believe that a majority can vote a man's life or property or freedom away from him. And therefore, I do not believe that if a majority votes on any issue, that this makes the issue right. It doesn't. All right. Then how do we arrive at action? How should we arrive at action? By voluntary consent, voluntary cooperation of free men, unforced. And how do our leaders arrive, how do we arrive at our leadership? Who elects, who appoints? Uh, the whole people elects. Uh, there is nothing wrong with the democratic process in politics. Uh, we arrive at it the way we arrived by the American Constitution as it used to be. By the constitutional process as we had it, uh, people elect officials, but the powers of those officials, the powers of government are strictly limited. They will have no right to initiate force or compulsion against any citizen except a criminal. Uh, those who have initiated force will be punished by force, and that is the only proper function of government. What we would not permit is the government to initiate force against people who have hurt no one, who have not forced anyone. We would not give the government or the majority or any minority the right to take the life or the property of others. That was the original American system. When you say take the property of others, I imagine that you're talking now about taxes. Yes, I am. And you believe that there should be no right by the government to tax. You believe that there should be no such thing as welfare legislation, unemployment compensation, regulation during times of stress, certain kinds of rent controls and things like that. That's right. I'm opposed to all forms of control. I am for an absolute, laissez-faire, free, unregulated economy. Let me put it briefly. I'm for the separation of state and economics, just as we had separation of state and church, which led to peaceful coexistence among different religions after a period of religious wars, so the same applies to economics. If you separate the government from economics, if you do not regulate production and trade, you will have peaceful cooperation and harmony and justice among men.